In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Facebook Graph API. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in Facebook Graph API and then go to in here to this website where it says Graph API Meta for Developers Facebook. So go in here and from here on from the developer page, you want to go to get started here on the left. So if you want to start using this, you will have to meet these requirements and you will have to have the following things over here in the list. The first one is you will need to register as a meta developer. And the way you do this is if I show you really quickly over here, you will have to click on this link over here and then follow the instructions. So you'll have to start the registration process by logging into Facebook. And then you will have to, by step two, agree to their terms and policies. And then you'll have to verify your account. They will send the information code to your phone number and email address. And that way you'll be able to verify your account. And then you'll have to select your occupation that most closely describes what you do for a living. And then the next steps will be uh, kind of issued to you inside the app. Okay. And then you'll be able to use the app dashboard. So that's the first thing you will need a meta developer uh, account. So the first thing was already said. And the second one is the meta app. So as you can see, this app will only be for testing. So there's no need to involve your app code, etc. So this is going to be easy, just open this up. And as you can see over here, it will show you how to essentially create an app. An app can be whatever you want it to be, of course. So that's what I said. That's the easiest part because, of course, you can create an app yourself. Then what you'll need is the Graph API Explorer tool. Now, you want to open this up in a separate browser window. As you can see, you'll have to have it opened up. And then this tool will yet again require you to sign in with your Facebook account. And then lastly, you will need a brief understanding of the structure of the Meta Social Graph for from their social uh, from their Graph API overview guide. So if you click on this over here, as you can see, this is the guide. You can scroll over it and then try to understand what it means. And I'm assuming if you're doing this, you do know very well what that all means. So that's the first thing. And then you will have to go through these steps over here, which are your first request and then your second request as well over here. So you can just read this through yourself and then follow this very, very closely. It will tell you everything you need to do. And in case you run into some problems, you can simply press support up here. And as you can see, you'll be able to either get developer support or ask the community for some help. So if you press developer support over here, as you can see, you'll be able to contact them over here. You can report different bugs or you can ask different questions over here, message them and they will let you know how to fix your issue and they will help you out in case you don't know how to continue. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out and you now know how to get started with using the Facebook Graph API. And if this video helped you out, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.